Do you want your sleeves to look drippy? Are you pulling up to locals, YCS, regionals, whatever you're doing, with decks looking like this? Well, what the hell, but <laughs> Would you rather your decks look like this? <laughs> Is this a common occurrence for you? Ah, oh, my first day ever at Locals, got my deck box, I wonder where my opponent is. Hmm, where is this guy? Hmm, I really can't... where is he? Oh, who's that cool guy over there? Oh my god, he's so cool. Oh, he's, he said hello to me. Also, uh, you must be my opponent. Uh, yeah, it's my first time here, but uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, yeah. So, oh, it's your first time at Locals, oh, that's nice, yeah. No problem, you want, it? you want to get into the door? Uh, i got my, uh, hold on, I'll get my mount. Yeah, so, yeah, well, some of my games have been going alright, but, yeah. There we go. Oh god, his mat's so cool, I'm gonna like such an idiot, my mat's so bad compared to his. Are you serious? Two? Two decks? So, yeah. Oh god, look how good his sleeves look as well. Alright man, I'm set up, I'm ready to go when you are. Uh, you gonna get your playmat out and your stuff? Yeah, let me just... Uh... Get my really cool mat out. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Oh my god, I look like such a noob right now. And in front of the such, such a giga chan, no. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Maybe you won't notice, maybe you won't notice. Quick, 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 pat it down. How am I meant to compete with sleeves like that? I wish I could sleeve that good. If only there was a video that could teach me how to. No, no, no. Oh god, I look like such a noob right now. Quick, just get, 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 get my cards ready. Maybe you won't notice, maybe you won't notice. Oh. Yeah, bro, I'm, uh, I'm ready. Oh, you're finally ready, bro. The bro, that took you ages to get set up. What is that? If these few things apply to you, then I have the video for you. So let's bloody get into it. A bit of my heart. I hope you enjoyed that intro, but anyway, let's get into the main video. So you want to sleeve your deck. There are quite a few ways to do this. So we'll start off with all the all the kind of sleeves. So these are Dragon Shield clear matte over sleeves. So these sleeves you put on top of traditional kind of sleeves. Then these, these are graphic sleeves, but they're, they're different in the fact that they appear on the front. So this is usually used for stuff like extra deck sleeves. You see how they've got these cool outliners. You don't really do this on main deck, you can, but for the most part, that's what they're for. Then you've got all the variety of colors of uh, Dragon Shield. These are the Japanese, 60 pack Japanese size. You want Japanese size because they're the ones that fit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And yeah, so they look like, hold on. Let me get a blue one out for you. So there's a, that's it, they're very simple. You've got the different kinds. So you've got, so classic, you'll have this kind of shiny finish. But if you get matte, you get a more grainy. I prefer matte. I do have a set of blue classic though, but the rest of them are matte. Then we've got, these are Japanese, not, <laughs> these are Japanese size perfect fit clear. So the perfect fit, the difference between these and these, these are for over sleeves, right? So let's say you have a graphic that you want to protect. A lot of the time you get really cool Yu-Gi-Oh card official Konami graphics, right? But they're not very protective and they can break easily. Obviously, if you paid a lot of money for them, you don't really want these designs, right, getting damaged. So you put one of these over sleeves on, which goes on top. Whereas a perfect fit, this is the opposite, right? 
So you buy these sleeves because you like how small they are and like how they're just standard sleeves. But you want to protect the card inside, right? So instead of these perfect fit ones here, look, if I just open this a second, look, there is actually perfect fit sleeve inside. So that is what they are used for. But, so first we'll just go over the very basic two versions you can go with. So for main deck, you've got the standard classic sleeve inner and you've got the graphic with it overprotective. So yeah, this is very simple. If you wanna do it for, if you prefer this design, obviously the benefits to these are they're thinner because this obviously, as you can see, they are bigger. Like if I line it up, you do they do get bigger. So these are probably the thinnest, nicest versions you can get when you're holding them. And let's say you wanted to sleeve your deck. You'd first grab one of these. So you'd have to buy some perfect fit. Then this is very important. You want to slide this in here, but you want to do it from the top way, right? You don't want to do it from the bottom way, and I'll show you why in a second. Then obviously you can select any of your favorite color of a Japanese size sleeve. And then you put it in normal ways. Like, hold on. Like that. And do you see see how the the opening's here? And see how there's no opening here? If you put this, the perfect slim sleeve on from the top normally, then both both openings would be at the top. And that doesn't really fully protect your sleeve from like water damage because or any sort of damage, because if it hits there, then you're a bit screwed. So that's that's version number one. Then for a sleeve like this, it's very similar, apart from the fact this uses your cool graphic sleeve, so any of your graphic sleeves. But this time, instead of putting it on, oh, but be careful, this card's pretty expensive. <laughs> instead of putting it on from the top, because obviously there's a graphic on the back, you actually want it to sleeve it normally at first. Because obviously you want the graphic to show, like the correct way around. But then obviously the lips at the top this time. So for this one, when you get when you get one of these out, you then actually sleeve this that way. So the lips actually at the the lip bits are actually at the bottom, right? The opening, but at least this way it protects it all. So if you don't really like this bit being at the bottom, then this might not be the way for you. But overall, you kind of get used to it very quickly. And generally, I do not see much of an issue with yeah with that this kind of style. But either way, do work. So keep that in mind. Note that, however. The the graphic sleeves will also fit a perfect size sleeve in, right? So although I'm saying if you're going to use a graphic sleeve, you want to get over sleeves, you don't actually have to. If you don't mind the fact that these could get damaged and you prefer having a normal kind of size sleeve, you can just straight up Japanese sleeve, Japanese sleeve perfect fit sleeve, slide that in, then get your graphic sleeve, slide that in like that, and you can just play like that. So you, so if you're using graphic sleeves, feel free. You don't actually need these these ones if you prefer the, that kind of design. But generally, it is just it's it's more safe on your sleeve at least if you use this this version, right? Because it will just protect any any markings on your sleeves. But yeah, that's up to you. And now, boys. We move on to extra deck. So once again, there's kind of two variants that I see for the most part that most people do. Obviously, you can do more, but I'd say these are the two main ones. So that would be these two variants. So this is the standard variant once again. So with this, it's just a perfect fit sleeve. As you can see, it is on... I can't get out. As you can see, it is on the card. So obviously... Perfect fit. And then, for instance, I just put on a... A 
matte sleeve here, but obviously you could use a graphic with these perfect fit. You can also get, for instance, one of these graphic sleeves and then put one of these on, the uh, clear matte over sleeves. Standard size, by the way, that get make sure they're standard size if you're going to get the over sleeve ones. But that's not what I do or many others do. Instead, you put the graphic sleeve on like this. So you'd slot the graphic sleeve on normally. But then instead, you'd get one of these. You can get these at different places. There isn't really one official brand. I'm pretty sure there are some main ones out there, but generally any with like graphics on the sleeves themselves, you would then slot this above like that. And it gives you a cool little border across the whole of your, your extra deck card. You can do this obviously for the main deck, but generally this is this is my kind of favorite way of doing extra deck sleeves. If you prefer that basic simple look, once again, you can go for that. Or once again, you could just switch out the, this border for these if you prefer this feel over this border. Another thing I'd suggest, keep all your extra decks the same. So I like this border design. So for instance, this is a blue eyes deck see all the cards have that border this is obviously this is my trap tricks deck hold on so as you see same design same sleeves on the back all of them use this the hex sleeves same border and i'll just get one more example why not so here's a generator deck as you see same sleeves, same border. And I do this because there's many staples, obviously, in extra decks. Like, for instance, here's a great, here's actually a great example right here. Obviously, Zeus, right? Great staple in many decks. And a lot of the time, you don't want to be buying these staples every time. And switching sleeves can be annoying. So if you're carrying multiple decks with you, for instance, let's say for because you're battling your friend or something, it can be handy to just have them all... All your extra decks be exactly the same. So let's say you want to switch in a Zeus and Appaloosa, you know, you can just take it out one deck, bam it in the next, and yeah, that is that is kind of everything. I'll give you one more tip about sleeving. For instance, I'll show you use the Trap Tricks deck. As you see, I have my main deck here, which is obviously using the 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 blue classic sleeves and then there's my standard extra deck sleeves but then i also have my side deck as you see my side deck are actually sleeved exactly the same as my uh main deck and this is because during rounds you don't really want to be switching out sleeves and everything and it could annoy your opponent especially if you're at a tournament or something so generally keeping your side deck then your extra then your main deck and having the extra inside the same just allows you to easily switch sleeves out and that's generally how I would do things. But yeah, that is every, that is all the knowledge on sleeves that I think you guys will need to know to really take your decks to the next level. Cool extra decks, simple extra decks if you like it, cool graphics, And then even simple, simple for your main deck as well. So yeah, that is everything I wanted to show you guys today. So boys, I hope you learned something about sleeving today. Obviously this is quite a basic video, but for anyone that was wondering what kind of the main techniques for sleeving, that is, that's kind of all of them. But anyway, hope I see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit boys.